Hello friends, welcome to my channel once again. In today's video, we will be installing Tiny 11. That is a lightweight version of Windows 11 that can run on old PCs. It requires less RAM, uh, up to 4 GB would be sufficient and storage space uh, that is 8 GB than standard Windows 11. It does not require TPM, secure boot or specific CPU requirements. So in this video, I will show the complete process of Tiny 11 installation. We will be creating an installation media using Rufus Utility and then we will install it on a virtual machine. You can follow the same process on your actual computer also. So let's go to their website. So I'll open up Google Chrome and we'll search for Tiny 11. And this is the official website of Tiny 11 from where you can download an ISO file for Tiny 11. So I'll just click on ISO image at the right hand side. And we will download the one that says 23 h to 64 bit. So just click on it. And it will start downloading a file that would be an ISO file for Tiny 11. And in the meantime, you can check, they say, uh, based off of Windows 11 Pro 22H2, Tiny 11 has everything you need for a comfortable computing experience without the bloat and clutter of a standard Windows installation. As I said, it requires 8 GB hard drive space and they have not mentioned about the RAM, but 4 GB would be sufficient. If you have more than that, that would be great. And you can also upgrade from Windows 10 and install it on unsupported devices. So we will wait till our file gets downloaded. So our file has downloaded and we will now download a utility that is Rufus with the help of which we will create a bootable USB drive for Tiny11. So just search for Rufus in Google and click on the first link. It will take you to this page or I will give you the link in the description. On this page, you need to click on Rufus 4.4.exe and as soon as you click it, it will be downloaded. I already have it downloaded. So I'll just run it from my download folder. So this is the exe which I already have. I'll double click on it. Click yes on user account control and you will see an interface like this. I'll just minimize all other windows. So I already have a drive connected that has a uh, ghost specter in it that is the reason it shows the name like this and you will have to select in boot selection disk or iso image and then click on select it will ask you to locate your tiny 11 iso file so this is the one which we have downloaded and click open now you can give it a name i'll leave it like that and instead of fat32 you can select ntfs file system and click on start leave all these options checked just uncheck the last option and the third option shows if you want to create a local account with a name just mention that name in that box by default it creates a local account only so if you want to give a name you can type that name here and then click ok now i'm getting a message another program or process is accessing this drive do you want to format it anyway? As I mentioned, it is a bootable drive for Ghost Spectre, but it is okay. I don't need this, so I will click on yes to format it and it will be formatted. So another notification you get that uh, drive will be formatted and you will lose the data you have on it. So that is okay. I will click on okay now. Now it will format the drive and will create a new drive for Tiny11. Okay. 
Okay, so our bootable USB for Tiny 11 is ready now. And we can close this. Now we will go to VMware and we'll create a virtual machine. You can use this bootable USB to install Tiny 11 on your actual computer also. But I'm going to install it on a virtual machine. So I'll create a new virtual machine. Leave it like that and click next. Select the third option which will be by default selected and click next. And you can leave it like this. Click next. Now you can give it a name. So I'll make it tiny 11. And click next. Here you can increase or decrease the hard disk space for this operating system. I will leave it 60. And I will leave uh, the second option split virtual disk into multiple files and then click next. Now you can click on customize hardware and you can increase the memory from here. I will make it 4 GB and I will make number of cores per processor too. You can leave CD DVD as it is and you can close it now. Now click on finish. So our virtual machine is ready. Now we will power it on. So just click on power on this virtual machine. If you get a message like this, simply click on yes. And on the screen, you will have to click on virtual machine and removable devices. You will have to select your flash drive. Mine is Kingston, so I will click on that. And then click on connect and just restart the machine. Okay, as soon as you restart, it will show a Windows logo. That means it is it has started installing uh, Tiny 11. I'll just maximize the screen now. You can select language here and click on next. Then put a check in the box and click on next on license and agreement. So since we are installing it on a VMware software, uh, we have already assigned 60 GB hard drive space and there's only one partition. So that partition will be default partition. Select that or it will be already selected. You can click on next. Now it may take some time. So let the installation complete. Okay, now select your region and click yes. And now select the keyboard layout and click yes. You can skip this part if you want or if you want to add a second keyboard layout, you can click on add layout. Uh, so I'll skip it. Okay, it says your PC will restart before you continue. So let it restart. Now you can just fill in few basic details like it is asking who's going to use this device. Technical tips and I will click on next. You can type a password if you want a, a password but I will just leave it like that and I will click next. Click accept. Okay, and we have uh, our operating system successfully installed. 
we will just install the display driver so you will see it in a full screen so I will just minimize it and we'll click on VM and there will be an option install VMware tools so click on it and just click on the notification you get and you can click on run setup 64.exe and click on yes on user account control and it will install the drivers Now on setup wizard, click on next and then next again and install. The installation has been completed. We can click on finish and just restart the computer once again. So click yes to restart. So we have successfully installed tiny 11 which is a lightweight windows 11 and you can use it the way you can use actual windows 11 so you can check the process i'll just right click on the taskbar and we'll open the task manager and you can check the performance it uses very less cpu less memory and less disk i will just close this and that's all i wanted to show you in this video you can Click the like button if you like the video and subscribe to my channel. You have a great day. Bye-bye.